and welcome to Auto Portal, the car buying website that helps you buy better. Well, few other cars in the executive sedan category look as sporty and characterful as the Chevrolet Cruze standing here. Well, Chevrolet has updated this car and as you can see, it's a very subtle update. It's a new bumper that they've given in the front with new housing for the fog lamps. But this car still looks the part, even with those subtle and moderate updates. It looks stylish and really very, very sporty and really does stand apart from the crowd of executive sedans in India. Well, as you can see, it's a nice and deep boot and it's really well shaped. It's square in shape, which means you can actually load in all those big suitcases in it straight. And uh, it's a very deep boot. There's a bit of a loading lip, but it should not be too much of a problem because it's very well shaped. A little bit of uh, suspension intrusion into the boot area, but it's not too much. Again, full marks to Chevrolet for giving it a nice and big boot for those long journeys on the highway. So just like the outside, even the cabin is really sporty. Chevrolet have really done a great job in terms of styling of this car. And even though it is over two years old, it still looks nice and appealing on the inside. You get this uh, nice cockpit-like theme going on inside the cabin. And uh, you get these hooded dials, which look really, really sporty and very attractive. Well, finding a nice, comfortable position is really easy because uh, this steering adjusts for rake as well as for reach. So really, uh, you can find a comfortable position for yourself. And the seat also gets height adjustment, which uh, goes a long way in getting that nice and comfortable driving position and this of course being the top of the line version really comes loaded you get a sunroof you get climate control you get uh, cruise control and really the works in terms of equipment over here well it's a really practical cabin to be in you get of course this nice box over here which can house your cold drink can for those long journeys you get two cup holders over here and it can actually hold a one liter bottle which is really great and also the door pockets are large enough to hold this one liter bottle in you also get a nice uh, small compartment over here which can house your coins and other knickknacks in and also a sunglass holder right on top of the driver's head which really does aid practicality in a long long way. Well I'm in the backseat of the cruise now and uh, Chevrolet have addressed a very important issue here. They've addressed headroom at the back very well. What they've done is they've scooped out this roof at the back and that really helps in getting you a little extra headroom at the back. Legroom is pretty decent uh, as well. Well, the cabin is generous enough in width so that you can actually sit three over here in comfort. But there's a bit of a transmission tunnel over here, which means that whoever's sitting over here will be a little shortchanged for legroom. The seats are decent in themselves and they've got uh, good cushioning and good support. You will be pretty comfortable in the long run. The only issue is there's no rear AC vent on this car, which is a bit of a surprise really, since most of the rivals do offer this. Well, and you also get these uh, nice uh, pockets on the backrest of the front seats and you can keep those magazines over here for that long trip well i'll be on the cover of this one next month well the cruise comes with a two liter common rail uh, diesel engine and uh, it develops 165 bhp which makes it the most powerful car in its segment well, this engine is really responsive, power starts coming around from around 1600-1700 rpm and that really makes this a very nice car to drive around town when you're pottering around town. It's a very easy car to maneuver in the city. Well, in its manual form, the cruise delivers 17.3 kpl, that's the air I tested of course, and uh, this, the automatic delivers 14.8. Now, these are good uh, figures considering this car's length and its weight and of course the segment that it is in. Well, the cruise comes uh, with a six-speed gearbox. Uh, both the manual and the automatic are in six speeds and today we've got the six speed automatic for you and really does make driving this car within the city very hassle free it's a jerk free gearbox it's very efficient very refined but on the highway it's very stable if you want to overtake someone all you need to do is just press the accelerator wait for a second and the car really does get going and uh, the good part of course is that you can use this gearbox manually as well you can just shift into uh, the manual slots and you can of course go up or down on the gearbox overall stability is pretty good when you are on the highway it feels pretty stable and even when you are doing uh, good speeds in excess of about say 90 or touching around 100 110 this car feels nice and uh, comfortable and uh, has that reassuring feel because the brakes are so good you know that it'll stop when you want it to well the cruise has strengths where most executive sedan buyers are looking at it comes with a great engine in fact the most powerful one in its class lovely looking exteriors and a very nice and plush cabin. Well, it might not have a posh badge like some of its rivals, but when it comes to pure talents and abilities, the cruise is desirable on its own. Well, we hope you enjoyed watching this video. 
And to know more about this car and its rivals, head to our website autoportal.com. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on this link above. It's bye for now and hope to see you soon.